So in this video, we will look at the intersection point uh, between the parametric equation and symmetric equation. So if you look at this exercise 7, given that L1, L1 is the first. So for this one, L1 and L2. So L1, uh, L1 is the symmetric equation and L2 is the parametric equation. So from L1, which is the symmetric equation, again we choose this, let's say the first two equations where this one is 2 minus x is uh, over 2 is equals to y plus 1 over 2. From here, we try to simplify. Actually, you, co you can compare the numerator or I can multiply in this way. So actually, you can just compare the uh, numerator. But uh, let's say I do in this way. 2 times 2 minus x is equal to 2 times y plus 1. So here I should have 4 minus 2x is equals to 2y plus 2. So here is, let's say, uh, if I move 2 to the left hand side, 4 minus 2x minus 2 is equals to 2y or 2y is equals to 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 minus 2x. Or I can simplify this equation by dividing 2. So y is equals to 1 minus x. So here I get the first equation. From the parametric equation, we know that x is equals to t and y is equals to 3 plus t. We can substitute the x and y for this equation. Let's say this is equation 1. So we can substitute x and y in equation 1. So where y is equals to 3 plus t. So I substitute as 3 plus t is equals to 1 minus x. x is t. So kat sini kita ganti lah. Daripada parametric equation adalah t ni, ganti kat sini. So from here we can find the t. So t, negative t, when I move to left hand side, plus t is equals to 1 minus 3. So 2t is equals to negative 2, t is equals to negative 1. Dah dapat dah nilai t kita. So kita boleh cari x, y and z. So from here, from equation 1, oops, here, you have the t. So base on L2. X is equals to T. So X is equals to T where our T is negative 1. Here is our X. For Y. Y is equals to 3 plus T where our T is negative 1. So 3 plus negative 1 is positive 2. Finally, Z is equals to negative 5 over 2 minus t. So here is negative 5 over 2 minus t is negative 1. So negative 5 over 2 plus 1. So if negative 5 over 2 plus 1, we should get negative 3 over 2. Therefore, the intersection point is equals to negative 1, 2, and negative 3 over 2. So here is our intersection point for this one. So in this video, we are looking at the intersection point between symmetric equation and parametric equation.